In this video, I want to talk about uncertainty. Now, in science, all measurements have some amount of uncertainty. There's always some part of the measurement that you're not completely sure about. So let me give you an example with the measurement of a quarter. Now, to measure something in science, you have to have the proper tools. So there's things that measure angles, and you can have stopwatches to measure time, and you know, this crazy rolling ruler thing that can I guess I can measure angles and lengths. Uh, but for this, I just need some kind of measuring device to measure length. So maybe something like this that has some kind of measuring device. And so I try and get a good estimate here for this diameter of the quarter. And it looks to be, let's say, maybe about 2.35 centimeters. It's kind of hard to get the edge of the measurement there. We can definitely say that it's between two centimeters and three centimeters, but I would say that my measurement for the diameter of a U.S. quarter is about 2.35 centimeters, but then I'm not really sure about that last digit there. So I'm going to say, well, it could be plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. In other words, I'm pretty sure that my measurement is somewhere between 2.30 centimeters and 2.40 centimeters, but I'm not really comfortable saying anything more than that, so I need to include this little extra bit right here, this plus or minus. It gives me a bit of a range, and this is my uncertainty. Now, some people also use the term error to describe uncertainty, so I'll put that in also. and. A good way to describe the uncertainty is to look at the fractional uncertainty. In other words, compared to the actual measurement, what is the error? I mean, is the error very small compared to the size of the measurement or very large? So in this case, my fractional error would be 0 0.05, that's the actual uncertainty, divided by the measurement itself, 2.35. And so this is something you can do on the calculator. And so when I type it in here, I get 0 0.0213. So 0 0.0213. Okay, so that's my fractional error, but perhaps a better way to do this would be to do the same thing, except multiply it by 100% to get my error as a percent. So when you do that, you end up getting 2.13%. So compared to the actual measurement itself, we can see that the error is pretty small. If you have a large percent error or percent uncertainty, then that means that there's a larger part of the measurement that you're uncomfortable with. Now, if we have a measurement quoted in science and there isn't any uncertainty attached to it, we have what's called assumed uncertainty. In other words, the last digit, maybe the last two digits, or maybe even the last three digits of the measurement are considered to be uncertain. And if we have an equation in physics, like perhaps a famous equation like E equals MC squared, then this 2 that appears right there in the exponent we consider that to have no uncertainty at all because it's a constant that's in the equation. We don't need to worry about any constants that appear in equations uh, because, well, that's how the equation works. There's no actually uncertain, uh, actual uncertainty. Now, of course, you're going to measure the mass, and the mass, when you measure it, might have some uncertainty, but when you go to use that in the equation, that 2 that appears in the exponent there, that's assumed to have no uncertainty at all.